couple of contrails really far south. There's that one there. Let's just get somewhere like 64 times. 130 times. That is probably over London. And then there's one below it. As you can see. Slightly ahead of it. So there's two contrails to quickly go and see if I can ID. Two contrails. Contrails everywhere at the moment. Hold on. Two contrails going west, way to the south of where I am in Cambridge. So I was in Cambridge, looking south for two planes that are currently going west. So that's no, that's at three thousand feet, wasn't that? That's a candidate, thirty-seven thousand feet. That was so. That was near. Uh, it seems like it's further than that, actually. Let's just have a look. No, that's going to be difficult to work out. I know from direction from filming stuff before. Direction, it was kind of North Hampstead, Ferner, Pelham, Hartford. That was the direction of the two planes. Uh, that narrow band looking south is where I was looking. Um, and they were... I'd say further than Stansted towards London, the two that I saw, so... Oh, that is not easy. I, I know what to do. I know what to do. ADSB exchange, because then planes are colour-coded for height. That's what I need to do. So, Cambridge. Two planes at height heading west is what I need to see. There's something directly over London. That'll be one of them, I guarantee. So that was an a Airbus A330 DAIKM. Probably DHL. Um, let me go and see what that is on flight radar. So Henley on Thames, I've been there. Look for something over London near Henley on Thames. There we go. Oh no, Lufthansa. Okay, sorry. That was the Lufthansa. Let's wait to Detroit. Uh, 38,000 feet. Speed. Four eight two miles an hour, and it's yet to go. So, and then what was the other one? What's that? Now that's only just taken off from Heathrow, on the way to Singapore. So that that one was one of the ones that was a long way away. And then I was looking for a second one. Um, not that. <laughs> just just clicking on planes that are going in the right direction. No, not that. That's just taken off on its way to San Francisco. So we've got one of them. Aha, uh -huh. what's that KLM one? KLM, that'll be the other one probably. Yeah, 32,000 feet. Uh, Amsterdam to Panama City. Another 10 hours to go. Boeing 777, 32,000 feet, that'll be it. 539 miles an hour. Da, da, da. So that's the one that was actually further away and slightly further behind. Yeah, that'll be the two. That's the that's got the correct direction. Let's just have a look at where it is. I have a Bracknell at the moment. Yeah, that makes sense. So they were both going straight across, straight across London when I probably filmed them. Time's now 11:13 a.m. I've been filming for nearly four minutes. So yeah, 11:09 is when I started to film. So that's that's correct. I've got I've got them. So that that was straight over London, as you can see. And let's get the other one. And the other one was directly over where it says London on the map. So there you go. I've worked out what both of them are. How about that? So that's how AESB Exchange can really help you. Because the planes are colour-coded, you can ignore all the, all the other planes that aren't at the correct height, using their height chart down the bottom. You know to look for stuff that's high up. And that's how you can separate stuff. So very, very useful website. That. Right, for now, I'll say thanks for watching. Bye bye and don't forget have a look through my account. I've got well over 30,000 videos to watch on video on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.